It is a huge construction project that has the potential to change energy infrastructure in Luzerne County for years to come, but it comes at a price. The natural gas expansion combined with a local sewer project has Luzerne County residents hearing and feeling the progress for miles around, and some residents say they've had enough. 2822 News reporter Gianna Gali spoke with those residents, and she joins us in the studio with more tonight. Gianna? Nick, good evening. For some people in Wyoming, it's been 12 hours a day, five days a week, for four, five, six months of constant construction taking place close to their home. Some residents say it's not bad. Others have a different view. You don't have to be an engineer to realize this is a big deal. Six months after workers first put a backhoe to pavement on a multi-state natural gas pipeline, the mess is taking its toll. Some residents we talked to wanted to stay anonymous. It's just bang, 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 bang. Sitting outside is quite impossible because of the constant, constant noise. The project will extend across three counties in the northeast region, Luzerne, Monroe, and Northampton. Three counties in the southeast region, Bucks, Chester, and Delaware, and one county in the south central region, York. Raymond Zielinski's yard has had this black metal wall in the back of it for the last five months, but that wall doesn't block the vibrations from coming through his kitchen during morning coffee. The wife so said to me, did you feel that? And I says, no, I, I didn't feel I, it's something strange, but I said, but I just see my coffee in my cup moving around a little bit. The wall was put up to help reduce noise and dust, and for the most part, Zelensky says it's worked. I'll be honest with you, I don't really have nothing to complain about. And uh, everybody needs gas, they say, you know, so, but could have been worse, you know. But for others in the Wyoming community who live on Susquehanna Ave, it has been worse. And in addition to the pipeline project, a sewer line project is also taking place. To be clear, the sewer project is separate from the pipeline construction, but the combination has some neighbors at their wits end. It's a disaster. They're on the tree lawns, they're ripping up the tree lawns. Just the mud, the dirt, when it rains, what they track up from down by the river is left all over the street. Um, our windows, our front porches, you know, are just covered in debris. The best way I could describe it, it's like a, a really loud metronome, mm -hmm. just a rhythmic bang, 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 bang. It'll go on for hours. I reached out to both Michaels and Williams for comment on the project and its progress. Here's what Williams told us. Construction is progressing on the regional energy access expansion to enhance existing energy infrastructure and increase consumer access to clean, affordable natural gas in 2024. We acknowledge that the construction process can generate some short-term, localized impacts, but we work to minimize those impacts to the greatest extent possible. We also strive to ensure residents near the project are informed of the various stages of the construction process. Williams in the statement said residents with questions or concerns can reach out to the company through email. That information can be found at PAHomepage.com. Nick. Price of progress, right? Gianna, thank you.